गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक इट्स दिस इज आर चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज हाउ कैमल गॉड इट्स हम इट इज रिटन बाय नन अदर देन द फेमस राइटर रोडियार किपलिंग दिस इज माई लेक्चर नंबर टू एंड दिस इज द होमवर्क सोल्यूशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन We have already discussed the introduction, summary, and word meanings of the chapter one in the previous lecture. I assigned you homework that was to be done by you on the basis of your understanding, and the homework was read chapter one and based on the understanding of the chapter, write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book. It so happened as. पेज नंबर सिक्स कॉम्प्रीहेंशन चेक क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर पेज नंबर एट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन चेक क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर और सोल्यूशन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर वन इन दिस वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज वट टास्क डू यू थिंक वर असाइंड टू द डॉग एंड द ऑक्स The answer of the question is, the dog was assigned the task of fetching and carrying sticks, while the ox was assigned of carrying the yoke on his neck and plowing the field. Question number two, why did the camel live in the middle of the desert? The answer of the question is, the camel lived in the middle of the desert because it didn't. want to work it ate sticks and prickles when anybody spoke to it it said hum and nothing more question number 3 what made the dog the horse and the ox very angry the answer of the question is all the three animals the dog the horse and the ox were angry because the camel did not want to do any work and they had to work double time means extra work to make up for the work not done by the camel question number 4 how did the jinn know that the horse was complaining against the camel the jinn knew that the horse was complaining against the camel because he was the in charge of all the deserts and knew everything about what was happening in his desert or when the horse said the camel had a long neck and long legs and lived in the middle of the howling desert the jinn immediately knew that it was his camel question number 5 which is on page number 8 the camel was looking at his reflection in the pool what does it suggest to you about the camel the answer of the question is it suggests that the camel was very proud of his appearance especially his back he was looking into water to admire himself question number 6 the camel said humph repeatedly how did it affect him it affected him as his back puffed into a big hump question number 7 what according to the jinn was the use of hump the answer of the question is the jinn assured the camel that his hump would always be a help to him it would store food and enable him to work for 3 days without eating it was the purpose of his hum this is the end of the lecture thank you and have a nice day